today on 11th Gorgeous. Rock it if you want it. I'm a little bit scared at what I'm looking at. Ver, 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 ver. I'm just gonna look nasty. I can't, my mouth and brain don't like that. You can do it. You can do it. Go get you some. Hey guys! I am super excited about today's video. It's gonna be a fun one. Yes, we love fall and we winter. We love fall and winter. And who doesn't love a good fall and winter drugstore lipstick? I mean, come on, drugstore affordable lipsticks for fall. Go get you some. You know that we have been super like into the Oxblood nails and we're kind of, you know, slowly working our way. Okay, I kind of jumped a little bit and I'm a little bit scared at what I'm looking at. <laughs> yeah, mine is a little safer right now. Yeah. We went for the Oxblood color on the pants and like she said, the nails, so now we're checking it out on the lips. I don't think there will be any eyeshadow or cheek oxblood. No. I mean, if that's a trend, that's probably like super high fashion. Right, right, right. So definitely for high fashion, rock it if you want it. We have like 10 or 11 lipsticks. Some of them are very similar in color. I don't think that there's, there might be one set that's identical. For the most part, they're all across the board. <laughs> we have good price options, color options. So there's some that are a little more safe. There's some that are a little more pink and mauve and some that are a little more like straight up dark vampy gonna get you that ox blood look right These first three are going to be the most wearable ones we've picked up and they are all from Revlon yes and they are all like in the mauve category yeah I'm actually wearing one on my mouth on my mouth because that's where you wear lipstick I am wearing the Revlon super lustrous in sassy mauve and I was so excited when I saw this because I just want more I was just so excited because I love my MAC syrup but if I were to repurchase, eh, I'm just a little, it's $14. Okay. Yeah. So this is going to be $6 or $7 depending on where you find it. And it's a cream finish. And we love, this is this is to up there with our favorite lipsticks. Right. So Sassy Mauve, love it. Same brand, Revlon Super Lustrous, but a smidge darker. It's, I mean, on my hand, it's, it's barely darker. It is Mauve Night which I love these cute names. I do too. And I think it leans more towards purpley it than does. the other one. So that's kind of why it's a little bit darker, but it's still super wearable and super creamy and we love it. it the formula is just amazing. And I put a little bit of the Cora's Lip Butter and Jasmine on before I apply these, just because when you're wearing such a dark color, you're gonna want your lips to be moisturized because you just don't want it to settle into the mm -hmm. lines and creases and stuff. Yeah because then it's going to look nasty. This next one is from the Revlon Lip Butter line, and these are great if you want a super moisturizing, kind of glossy finish. Okay. This is the lightest of all three, even though in the tube it looks like it's really dark. It's going to be more of a sheer wash of color. Now, not all of these in this line are sheer. Mm -hmm. If you're wanting to do more like a sheer wash, not super heavy, more like a gloss, this would be a good one to try. I think it's safe to say that lip butters have like taken over this video because <laughs> we have like at least three. The next one is Raspberry Pie and these are going to be more of your berry colors. It looks like you literally took a berry and just rubbed it all over your lips. It is not as sheer as Sugar Plum. It's actually fairly dark and buildable. So this is a great one if you want that berry, juiced berry look on your lips. This is the Remo Lasting Finish by Kate in 09. It's kind of walking the line between a berry and kind of a brick red, sort mm -hmm. of. Like it doesn't have as much pink as the Raspberry Pi. It could almost look like a super pinky blue red yeah. on your lips. This would be a really pretty one. And the last of the berries, this is the Maybelline Color Sensational in Blissful Berry. And I have heard lots of things about this when I was researching like drugstore fall lippies. And this was like the most, would you say, like recurring one in everybody's blogs and vlogs and stuff. It's just a deep, deep berry. It's a little bit darker than the Revlon Lip Butter one. So if you're feeling froggy in the berry category and you want a little darker, go for Blissful Berry. Bliss, blissful Berry. <laughs> We're definitely starting the transition over into the kind of scary, little bit darker, ox bloody, vampy look. So that's where we're going next. The next ones, if you're if that one was too dark for you, then the next ones are going to be really dark. Yeah, yeah. 
If you ever watch YouTube videos, I know it's kind of, you know, what YouTube videos? I don't watch yes. those. I know. You might have heard about this one. It is the Revlon Lip Butter in Red Velvet. Let me just preface this with, we went to three stores to find this one. Yeah. We went to CVS, Walgreens, and finally found it at Kmart. Everyone raves about this on YouTube, on blogs, it's everywhere. So, this is going to be a deep, kind of reddish burgundy color. And again, you're going to get that kind of glossy but still really pigmented. This mm -hmm. is a good pigmented one. This yeah. one and raspberry pie. Yeah. They're, they're transitional. This one's a good one, like we said, as the last ones. It's good to transition this one into your deep burgundies. Start with this. If you feel comfortable with that, then you can go a little crazier. Definitely. So this is, I just, this one, okay, first of all, I want it to smell like red velvet, and sadly it does not, but I just see this as being a really great lip for holiday stuff. Yes. So like Thanksgiving and Christmas, holiday parties, I just think this would be really festive and fun. Another Maybelline Color Sensational in Deepish Cherry, which when I saw this one, I feel like I thought it was going to be a lot darker than it really is because it looks like a brown red yeah. lipstick. Like, it looks brown. And it completely comes off as a wine color because it's, it's, it's purple. It really is. It's like a purpley wine color and it's gorgeous and... I did not expect it, and I actually really, really like it, so I'm excited to wear this one. We picked up a couple of the CoverGirl Lip Perfection lipsticks, and we don't have a lot of these, but they've got a really smooth texture and really good color payoff. So this is in the color Smitten 310, and it's a very kind of purpley, deeper, darker mauve kind of tone, and I would say it's like a couple steps beyond the Revlon Mavi Night. Yeah, it's a couple shades darker. Movie Night, Movie Night, Mavi Night. I can't. My mouth and brain don't like that. But it's a good one if you like the darker mauve colors. The next one is another CoverGirl Lip Perfection. Say that three times fast. It's hard. <laughs> <laughs> and it's in the color Entwined. It's almost identical to Smitten, except for it's like a smidge darker. It's like a step up or a step darker right. from it, but the, the tone of it, the like color, the tone is, is the exact same. It's that purpley mauve color. So, another good one. Next one is a super affordable one from Wet n Wild. 99 cents. I was shocked. Yeah, and it's actually what Stephanie has on her lips, and she Instagrammed a picture of it, and all of you guys thought she looked like a vampire, which, I mean, that's totally appropriate and like, you know. I'm just getting ready for Twilight. What? It's not coming out soon or anything. It's a silk finish by Wet n Wild, and it is in the color 508A, what is it, Black Orchid? Black Orchid. The thing comes off when you take the packaging off, I think. But this is what it looks like. It looks scary, but I think it's really fun on. Yeah, I started putting it on. I was like, look, it's Halloween. I'm putting on that black or purple lipstick, but I like it. Yeah. yeah typically, my idea of a, of a dark lip is red. Just do a red lip or yeah. a hot pink lip. I feel like it's something we've been scared of in the past, but, you know, just seeing it everywhere, like on the runways and in magazines and everything, it's just making it seem like it's okay. You can wear that dark of a lip color. You can do it. You can do it. Last but not least is the Revlon Super Lustrous in matte. Matte? And it's called Wine Not. And again, with the similar look colors, this is very, 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 very similar to Black Orchid. It's matte though, so it's gonna have a drier finish. It's a smidge darker. Um, oh, I mean, overall, really, if I had seen them like swatched, I had known beforehand, I would have gotten the Wet n Wild yeah. and not the Revlon. So that's good to know if you can't get a hold of Wet n Wild, then you can get Revlon. So there is like two options. And then if you're like, ooh, I don't like the matte, but Revlon's all I can get, you can put a little gloss on there. And, and then, make it work. Yeah, yeah. then you have to do They would give that. you the same effect, so that way at least you have two options, but if you have both of them sitting in front of you, hello, you can get one for 99 cents. And we and recommend like that. that. Yeah. So that completes all of our fall drugstore lippies. We would love to know what your favorite drugstore lippies are for fall. Yes, so let us know in a comment below, or if you've done a video, or if you want to do a video, you can always do a video response. We love those. And we will talk to all of you guys in our next video. We sure will. Bye, guys.